All right, here's a here's a way to build a, uh, an emailer real quick and simple and make it into a website. Go file, new, see your width and your height, width 800, height 600, resolution 72 dpi, okay? Just leave it an untitled document, who cares? Go okay. All right. This is our tools here. This is our layers here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to first make our background. Let's grab a rectangle. Let's make it white for the time being. I just selected it and dragged and dropped it. Created layer over here. Let's create another layer. Grab the shape by clicking on it. Move it up. Double click on the words. This is layer one. Name it. This is going to be our background. Let's rasterize this. Right click. Rasterize layer. Rename it. BG underscore white. All right. Let's come back over here to our tools. Grab our pointer. Control and T automatically gives us this so we can adjust the sizes. It's control T. Make sure everything's set. All right. So we're good here. Now let's select this background layer over here at the bottom right. Let's go through select color. Uh, let's just grab a blue. Click OK. See how it changes the colors over here. You can flip flop it with this control, this little arrow. Okay. So the white's the foreground, blue's the background. We've got the BG selected. Control backspace auto fills. And there's that. I'm moving right along here. Say for an example, we want to create a graphic up here, a graphic down here. Uh, let's say we'll use a brush tool. Uh, toolbar over here, this is our brush tool. Grab our brush tool. Like here, I have the cityscape already set up come up here above the white BG this little button here it says create new layer create a new layer switch uh, our background to our foreground by clicking this here's a cityscape that we just dropped in here on its new layer let's name that layer oops grab the wrong one we'll call it cityscape one come back over here grab our move tool make sure we have the layer selected the cityscape control T let's pull it all the way over so it kind of flows into this background click the pointer tool again it automatically gives us the settings to apply the transformation that we did click apply now we're kind of blending in here we have a cityscape we still have a little bit of white down here at the bottom control positive is a zoom control negative is a zoom out so we just have a little fine white line here so control negative zoom back out make sure that we have the cityscapes layer selected move it down now we're kind of blending all the way across beautiful this is what we like next piece here let's give this thing a header or title name for an example go ahead grab the T it's your text tool type it out and we'll say mock mailer one Ah, uh, let's call it Mock Mailer, because we'll get creative with it. All right. Come back up so we can move our tool. We have it typed. It creates a layer. Grab our Move tool. Let's move it. Let's grab our Text tool again. Click anywhere we want. And let's just say this is a Mock Mailer, and we'll call it Cityscape. And let's make it two words. Let's make this font smaller. This one, we when we click on our text tool, this top bar changes to whatever tool we're working with. 
here we have 24 points let's make it 12 points over here to the right we also have our character and paragraph preset here's the width of the characters like the spacing of inside of the characters it's at uh, 10 right now let's go to 100 uh, let's take it to 200 now let's come over here down to our colors double click it opens our color palette let's make it red click OK grab our move tool you see what that looks like alright we need to make that font a little bit bigger come back to our text tool highlight it make sure you highlight the whole thing come back up to your uh, your size it's at the top let's go with 18 now let's come back over to the character paragraph preset tools over here the width of it let's jump that up to 300 manually type it there we go now we kind of got this double uh, double set and everything's kind of lining up all right so this is a quick and dirty way to make one uh, a mock mailer let's come over here down to the bottom create a new layer come back up to our tools if you click on where your rectangle tool is see how we got this rounded ellipse tool polygon grab the line tool let's double click our color palette let's just sample our background color so we're staying consistent now we have, can make a line we have a new layer made hold down shift and click left click and drag and you'll create a perfect line alright now if we notice down here it created a shape now when something's a shape we can always alter it um, if we rasterize it it means that it's a flattened image so I'm gonna go ahead and rasterize this right now and moving right along oh forgot to name that so it doesn't say shape one we'll call this line one click on this new layer that we created up here now let's get, I'm gonna get creative if you got brushes installed cool play with them they're very very handy let's uh, go ahead and select a different brush here nah, it's not the brush I was looking for and let's go ahead and do uh, something different let's do a half tone and let's kind of play with this here we go and I just clicked simply click the brush now I don't want it that big and I don't want it that dominant so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come back up grab my move tool control T to reshape this thing once I get it kind of the size I want cool click the move tool apply alright come back name the layer this is a half tone and see here in the layers we have opacity and fill let's bring down the opacity of it a lot to about about 15 so now we're kinda of playing around and this area here we can use for text do whatever we want alright sound good